All right, so in this video, we're checking out the TransTech Butyl Mini. This is a two inch micro, quote unquote, son of a racer. Uh, it does come with these prop guards that you can attach, and um, they go on the arms like so. So that uh, if you want to fly around like a up you can. But I wouldn't really you know, <laughs> use something like this for that. It's a bit on the heavy side. It does come with the Cadex Vista system, as you can see here, and uh, has a flight controller and the uh, foreign AC kind of in this interesting arrangement here on the bottom layer here on the main plate and a second plate here for the Vista. So it's a little bit unusual. So you have a F4 flight controller, it's a Matek uh, F411 based flight controller, and you have a 4 in 1 25 amp Beale Heli S ESC, and we have some. Uh, Transtech branded FR6 motors here. These are 1104, I think they're 6800 kV, and these are the Gem Van Hulky four bladed props. The bottom plate is a two and a half millimeter bottom plate, and it is a unibody. And you get these um, TP parts here in the front to protect the camera. It does come with uh, an additional TP part right here to put around the camera as a ring. Uh, but it's pretty well protected, but if you want additional protection, that's included. But okay, again, it's a little bit more extra weight. And you get this other TP part here in the back, or right here in the bag that goes into the back. Right over here, and that's just if you have a crossfire antenna, if you want to use that. But this comes as um, just basically flying with the DJI controller. There's no other receiver attached on this version, although you can get other versions with the receivers. This is also available in a version that does not come with the Vista, so basically you have everything here, um, motors, props, uh, electronics, frame, uh, already assembled. You just don't have the Vista Air Unit and the Vista camera. So if you have a Vista already, or if you want to transplant one from maybe another craft that you've crashed, for example, you can move it into this one pretty easily. Just have to solder the wires in the back. I think there's six of them to attach the Vista unit and install that. And you have basically the same as the bind and fly. So this is set up as a bottom mounted battery, but it does have these LEDs up on top and it's set up, uh, I think, to change colors based on throttle position. So if, if I've seen like some mods where some people put like a top plate on here and run the battery on top, but i um, not sure if that's a, a viable option, uh, at least on, for this particular craft. But yeah, it, it does run fine as a bottom mounted battery. It does have a sticky pad here in the bottom. I was running this battery here. This is a 450 milliamp hour forest. This is from Outline. Pretty good battery. Uh, actually, I would recommend this one uh, if you're going to run 4S. Now, in the spec page, it does say that they recommend a 3S 650 on this, and I did fly this on a 3S 550. It's not quite as uh, peppy. It, it's not quite as fast on 3S versus 4S, and on the 4S 450, it does have a lot more power. The power to weight ratio is a lot better, although. Uh, even though this doesn't have any kind of a special tune, I think it's just default PIDs from Betaflight. It is a little bit on the, on, uh, how, just, how do you say it? The motors get a bit hot on 4S. Not super hot, like you can't hold the motor, but they get pretty warm, pretty toasty on 4S, so be aware of that. You may want to uh, change the, the tune a little bit. Same on 3S, it doesn't get very warm on 3S, but the tune is kind of soft. So you may want to adjust the tune again for 3S if you're gonna run a 3S. I think um, you can, it, they say you can go anywhere from a 550 up to like a 750. And if you fly it on a 3S 750, they're saying that you get about five minutes of flight time. Now, if you want to change the color of this canopy, they do have a couple of different other ones that you can swap this out for. They have this light blue one and a clear one. So you just have to take the LEDs out of here. And I think the screw that goes through the front standoff here, goes into these two screws in the top or in the in the front and then there's one in the back and I think that's all that holds the top canopy on. All right so here's how much it weighs with no battery and about 113 grams and then with the Forest 450 now we're coming at about 167 grams and if you're going to fly it with the prop guards throw these on here too 
So if you fly with the battery in proper, it's, it's coming in about 174.4 grams. Okay, so I know the big question is how does this fly to the uh, bigger brother of this one, the uh, Transdeck Beetle, not the Mini, the two and a half inch version. And the uh, answer I have is I don't know. I don't. I never flew that version. The only thing I know about that version is that the 1106 motors on that one seem to burn out a lot of people. Um, it ha probably has to do with the fact that it's a high KV motor and a lot of weight. And so if you run too, you know, too high of a PID tune or too much of a bigger, bigger battery, puts a lot of stress in the motors and gives a lot of heat. That applies to this one as well. This is definitely on the heavier side. It has performance. I mean, these, these 1104 motors are not bad. They definitely have pep on 4S. And, with, and I think if you can maybe reduce the D gains a little bit and addition, add a little bit of additional filtering, uh, it should cool the motors down. I didn't feel like I needed to do that because it wasn't, I didn't feel like it was going to burn up. But, you know, it is running on the edge of the pit tune. So just be aware of that, you know, a really bad crash, something like that could, you know, basically push it over the, the cliff and cause an EAC or a motor to burn out on something like this because it is on the heavier side for the smaller motor. Other than that, I thought it flew pretty good. Um, you know, it's got some pretty good speed. Now, as I said, I would recommend 4S over 3S, but again, just be aware you are kind of pushing the limits on 4S. So if you want the performance, you are gonna to have to take the risk of maybe burning out a motor or EAC on something like this. Anyway, that's gonna do it for my review of the Transtic Beetle Mini. Here's some additional flight footage with my narrated flight. If you have any questions, let me know, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. So the tune sounds pretty good. A little bit of prop wash there. That was a, not a good S side. That's cr that side. Oh. A lot of prop wash again. Handling on this tune is not so great. It's just uh, flying around, kind of like a racing style here. Yeah, every time it goes into its prop wash, it has a little bit of oscillations. Needs probably needs more de de gain and filtering. Yeah, every time a hard turn, get some oscillations. Other than that, it seems to be okay. A little on the heavy side. We expected carrying a uh, two inch carrying of this tail around, but it's you know, it feels very uh, responsive otherwise. I think that's someone over there. I think if you reduce the camera angle by a lot, uh, you could probably fly it slow, you know, like a cinema, but. I'm not sure how useful those prop guards will be and how long they'll last. I, I think they're kind of flimsy looking and they kind of probably break at some point. Especially any kind of hard crash. And then you want to reduce your rates if you're going to fly it like a Cinewhoop. But flying at a lower throttle levels here. Not a lot of uh, jello. All right, so that's the end of the battery. Pretty short flight, about three minutes. Let me know what you guys think.